Thank you so much for watching another episode of Breeding Cash. Now, today we are talking about fish farming in a different way. Have you ever heard about fish farming in a greenhouse? Now, that's what you are going to talk about. And joining me on set is Dominic Mora from Aquaflow Kenya Limited. Just to tell us about this particular concept. Thank you so much, sir, for finding time for us. Thank you for having me. Let's start on the point of Aquaflow Kenya Limited. What exactly do you do? Aquaflow uh, Tech Kenya Limited is a, a sister company of a company called Aquaflow Tech Incorporated. It was started in North Carolina, United States of America by uh, four Kenyans that collaborated with, uh, with a professor in um, North Carolina State University that developed a technology that dissolves gases into liquid. Gases into liquids, so it's a new concept here in the country. This is a new technology we are introducing uh, in the country, especially in the area of fish intensive fish farming, commercial fish farming in the concentrated area using greenhouses and tanks. Even before we go to how the concept actually works, I'm so much interested to know what exactly drove you into that. What's your background, you personally? My background is finance and banking. Finance and, and banking, having and now you're in technology? In technology. <laughs> okay. It's amazing. Um, when I moved back to the United States, one of the things that I, we decided to do is to bring back technology that we find in our, back to our country. And Kenya being an a, a agricultural uh, nation, we want to advance the agricultural technology that people are able to sustain their agriculture in a more advanced technological way. That is how we came up developing this kind of a technology in introducing fish farming. Fish farming. Yes. Now let's go to the point of your success story so far so good. How has Kenyans received this particular new concept? Fish farming um, in ponds uh, probably is a, a newest concept in, uh, in uh, in commercial fish farming. Uh, it was introduced recently by the government under the economic stimulus program by uh, our His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta by then in 2009 when he was a Minister of, of Finance. Uh, there are so many challenges that came within that we are trying to solve. Number one is an increased level of ammonia in the fish pond. Number two is a diminished growth and retarded growth of the fish. Number four is high level of toxins in the fish pond. And number five is unsustainable yield that is not reflected back into the, into the farmer's pocket. So that is how we developed a technology that will be able to solve all those problems in one system. In one system. Yes. So looking back, back at your success story so far, so yes. good. Have, ha, ha, can you say really, what have you done so far? So far, we have developed this technology and attained a patent technology in aeration in the United States. This is a protected uh, 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 rights that we have on the technology. We have advanced that, that will come and solve a lot of problems in our country. Number one, create employment, uh, solve the problems in fish industry, uh, provide uh, food security, and basically provide security in general because once people are empowered economically, they are empowered in security. Okay, now let's go to the actual way of how things work. Yes. So, in a normal setup, how is this system working? Um, our system, what we have done is to create a river-like environment. You know fish as an animal is used to live in the sea or in the lake where we have distributaries bringing fresh water into the lake and we have an outlet. Giving an example of Lake Victoria, we have distributaries bringing fresh water and River Nile taking out to Mediterranean Sea. So when the fish goes on waste, when the waste product, the byproduct of fish, there is a recirculatory system go, go, going on. Mm. What has happened in the modern fish farming in ponds, there is no recirculation. So the water stays stagnant. We have brought a technology that creates a river-like environment in tanks, where we have a recirculatory system called aquaculture recirculatory system. So you're talking about aquaculture. Let's yes. now, now go to the breeding cash aspects yes. and uh, how things work for farmers. Yes. It's all about money making. So yes, to start sir. with, yes. how much do I need so that I can embrace your technology? Before I tell you how much you will make, let me tell you about the technology. We are doing intensive fish farming in a very small area. We are taking into concept that farms are becoming smaller and even people can do our fish farming even in their plots and even in their townhouses, even in the cities. Because within a greenhouse of uh, 18 by, 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 eight, by 8 meters, you are able to put up to 6 tanks. In one tank of fish, because of the technology we are involving that in, uh, incorporates filtration, 
aeration treatment. That creates that kind of a setup of an of a, of a environment for fish growth. You are able to raise uh, 2,000 um, kilograms of fish in every tank. So in a small greenhouse of 18 by, by 8 meters, you are able to raise up to 12,000 kilograms of fish. 12,000 kilograms of fish. Yes. Now back to my question. Yes. For me to understand yes. the 12,000 kilograms of fish, yes. then I must bear in mind how much will I be required to start to pump in money. Yes. Let's go back to that particular question. Yes, now we're talking about the cost here. Yes. Our return in investment is very high. The cost of you are investing into, you are buying into the technology, the initial capital is 1.6 million Kenya shillings. Within 1.6 million Kenya shillings, this is what you get. You get a greenhouse, you get two tanks, you get a stock of 4,000 fingerings, you get a solar-powered system that will operate the system 24 hours, you get a filtration system, you get a treatment system and an aeration system. Wow. And remember, this is breeding cash and you can always tell us uh, what exactly you think concerning the Aquaflow Kenya Limited. We are talking about fish farming in greenhouses. Our SMS line is open 20058. You can also find us on Twitter at WTVK with the hashtag breeding cash. Now at this particular point, we take a short break, but don't go far because when we are back, we are going now to the details of how exactly this system works. Stay tuned. Welcome back, this is Breeding Cash and today we are talking about fish farming but in a different way now. In the first segment we've been looking at uh, the technology itself, how you can embrace uh, this technology from Aquaflow Kenya Limited and that's why Dominic Maura is here with me to put things into perspective. Now we are going to the details but even before we go to the processes and all that, yes, sir. let's look at the money question because at the end of the day as a farmer what yes. interests me is uh, money or yes. profit. Yes. So you told me I require about one point six million for the whole setup. Yes sir. How much do I make at the end of the day? Now at Aquaflow uh, Kenya Limited we have committed ourselves to the welfare of the farmers. We have known previously many products being introduced into the market that doesn't into, into the into the Kenyan community entrepreneurship that doesn't have a market. We are guaranteeing the market for our product. Number one, once you buy our system we are entering into a binding contract with you that you cannot sell this uh, product, this fish, to any other person. And we have to provide uh, uh, quality control and capacity building to be the end uh, buyers of our, of, of our product. Now, let us talk about the system we sold you. Yes. We sold you a system that will comprise of two tanks, each of which com uh, will carry 2,000 uh, fish at maturity. So our perspective is to get 4,000 kilograms of fish from the farmer. With the, the binding contract, we are the buyer from you. We are committed to buy you at the market value of the fish at that time. Currently, one kilogram of fish is 400 shillings. 400 shillings. So looking at that way, yes. you are raising 4,000 kilograms of fish in eight months, given the efficiency of our technology. We come back and buy that fish from you. You are going to cash in 1.6 million Kenya shillings every eight months. Wow, I think that's quite interesting now and that's quite insightful. You can always tell us what you think concerning this system. SMS line is open 20058 or you can also find us online. On Twitter is a WTVK. Use the hashtag breeding cash. Let's go to the details. Yes, how exactly this process works. You start by purifying water because I'm meant to understand that in fish farming, pure water is everything. Yes. The, our company is committed to natural ways of water filtration. We do not use any chemicals. We understand the side effects of every chemical we put into a system. Our company has developed a technology of filtration. Once we introduce the water into the fish tank, there is a process of uh, treatment that we use. We are using ozone gas for treatment. We have ozone generator, generation that ozone, as you know, is a gas that is very reactive. It is uh, uh, 3,000 times better than chlorine in purification. We use that to treat the water before we introduce the fish. Once we introduce the fish in uh, fresh, pure water, we have an outlet where the uh, waste product and waste water goes through and the actual water leaves the tank. It goes through three levels of filtration. Biofiltration that removes ammonia, sun filtration that removes any sediments or any waste. It goes through another filtration for, uh, for the waste of the product. Then we treat the water using ozone 
and then we inject uh, oxygen gas. We have a technology that dissolves gases into liquid. And in our case, we use oxygen. We dissolve oxygen into the water, then the water is pumped back into the tank, such that you have a recirculatory system. Or dirty water leaves the tank, goes through the filtration, treatment, aeration, back to the tank in micro bubbles. Is there a, a specific type of fish that I'm supposed to keep in these tanks? You can keep any uh, kind of commercial fish. Right now, we are recommending for this market tilapia and catfish. Tilapia and catfish? Yes, sir. Okay, now uh, apart from that, uh, let's go to there are always some challenges behind every successful yes. story. Maybe you can tell us some of the challenges that you faced so far. So. Yes. One of the challenges we have faced is to introduce a new technology into the market. But given the kind of problems we are solving, we believe that people are able to adopt into this new technology. As we know, mainland farming has diminished over time. Sustainable agriculture and technology is taking over. So as we continue to educate our people on how technology works, it eases things off, increasing your productivity and increasing your income. Okay, there are some farmers who, or basically consumers, not generally farmers, yes. who feel that, you know what, this fish that comes from the pond yes. is not as delicious as yes. the other one from the river or yes. lakes. What's your take on that? Is it just a perception or actually it's true? Well, I don't want to say it's a perception because something of taste. If you have tasted something from the lake, it might be different from the, from, from the pond. And this is the reason why. In the pond, we have covered that in the previous section, that we raise fish in stagnant water. There's no inlet or outlet. There's so many uh, composition in that fish pond that affects the taste of that fish. Number one is the waste. From the time you introduce the fingerings into the pond, they grow with their waste until maturity. From the time you introduce the fingerings to the pond, the ammonia they produce stays in the pond till maturity. The feed that you feed the fish, the ones they don't eat, settles at the bottom of the, of, of the, of the pond. It becomes a bed for microbial organisms to grow, and this becomes detrimental for the fish. So ultimately, the end product might not be as pure as that from the lake. What we have created in our system is a river-like environment. River-like environment, exactly. I like that. Let's yes. now go to something that you've in fact touched a bit yes. about feeding. Yes. We've talked of uh, how you're in a position to control all the gases that are not yes. required. Yes. So when it comes to feeding, how exactly do you go about it? We, um, the current uh, feeding uh, available in the market is in parrots. What we are producing is, uh, and recommending is feeding that float. This way we'll maximize the feed capacity of the fish. We do not, uh, uh, we try our level best to uh, avoid waste. Number one, if you feed the parrots, if it soaks down and settles at the bottom of, of the tank or the pond, that's a waste. Mm. We provide the float, floating feed that the fish are able to eat uh, at least uh, almost 100%. So that is number one. Number two, we are creating an automated way of feeding. Now, fish eat according to their weight. As they increase in weight, we increase feeding. In our automated system, you are able to set. You'll be doing random uh, weight, weight. Uh, you uh, pick like 10 fish and you, you, you measure them and you, it tells you like the average weight of the fish in the pond. That way you are able to increase the, the settings of, of, uh, of the feed. So every six hours or every four hours or every uh, periodic uh, frequency of time, your, the, the feed will release, release the feed and then close. So this, uh, we are talking about labor intensive, labor, labor, labor um, availability, that you are able to automatically feed the fish while you're not there. And what about disease control? Disease control, we talked about uh, water filtration and treatment. What happens in the fish in the pond is there is no mechanism of control of, uh, of uh, microbial organisms or disease causing pathogens in the pond. In our system, we are recirculating the water continuously. Every 24 hours, the water in the tank is emptied through the system and comes back pure and purified and treated. So diseases, it's basically a thing of the past for you, that's what diseases you're saying? Diseases is highly controlled. And the other thing we are doing as a company, we are committing to provide quality control. So you will have customer service and people coming to follow our farmers from the time they buy until they, we, they, we buy from them. That way, they have people monitoring the system and monitoring any microbes in the water. Well done. Now, as we wind up, uh, talking of Aquaflow Kenya Limited, uh, maybe in the next five or ten years, yes. where do you see yourself in the Kenyan market? Number one, 
We are at Warohio uh, FTC. This is a, a collaboration with Kiambu County Government under the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Livestock. They are committed to uh, promoting this technology and we are partnering with them in bringing this new technology to Kiambu County. Not only in Kiambu County, we want to bring this in the into Kenya, in all the counties and around the region. In 10 years, we want people to transform from the traditional way of pond fishing to aquaculture recirculatory system. We want to produce happy, healthy fish that transforms to healthy, happy family. So uh, you say that you are here at uh, Warohi Farmers Training Center. Yes, if sir. one really wants to find you for more yes. information yes. or something like a clarification for that bit, yes. ca should that person come here or you have an office somewhere? We, we, we will provide you the, 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 our contact numbers. We have uh, contact people in, in the, when we have an office in Nairobi. We also have an at Warohi Training Center, we have an office set at this center. We have a model that you can come and look at. You'll, have, you'll find somebody who will come and teach you and train you around the system. You have somebody who will guide you into acquiring the system. Oh wow, there you've heard it. That was Dominic Moura, the CEO of Aquaflow Kenya Limited, taking us through this new concept brother of fish farming, doing farming in greenhouses because many people are used to crop production in greenhouses but things are changing and now we come to the end of our show but remember you can always tell us what you think concerning our show or even a question for Aquaflow Kenya Limited SMS line is open that is 20058 on Twitter you'll find us at WTVK use the hashtag breeding cash so that we're in a position to track your conversation and uh, let's meet next week